Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today I'm starting a new series with my Seekins 6.5 PRC and the powder which is the star of the show is the new Winchester Stable HD. I'm very interested to see what this powder can do. Um, I have already loaded up a 10 shot ladder test to um, get some muzzle velocity data. Just by doing that I was really impressed with how it meters in the IntelliDropper and with the powder trickler. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, standard deviations I can get. So let's take a look at this 10 shot ladder test. In this graph I'm seeing between 58.1 and 58.5 grains of powder. There's a very good flat spot there. There's only a 13 foot per second difference in muzzle velocity between a 5 tenths of a grain spread of powder charge. So we're going to work with this. All of my load development is going to start at 20 thousandths from jam. This is a method that I have adopted from Air Cortina and if you want to know how to find jam I'll post a link in the video up above. The next step in this video is I'm going to load five shot groups at 20 thousandths from jam to get muzzle velocity, extreme spread, and standard deviation numbers because those are the numbers that I use to figure out what charge I'm going to use before I go on to the next step in my reloading process, which would be finding group sizes at 500 yards and seeing what seating depth will give me the best results. So I'm gonna to head to the range and fire off those five shot groups. Stick around. So we'll be starting out with 58.1 grains of powder. At 58.1 grains of stable HD, I had a group size of 1.26 MOA with a mean radius of 0.52 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2803 with an extreme spread of 33.65 and a standard deviation of 13.67. This five shot group is with 58.2 grains of stable HD. At 58.2 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.11 MOA with a mean radius of 0.46 MOA. The average muzzle velocity is 2811 with an extreme spread of 31.89 and a standard deviation of 12.97. This five shot group is with 58.3 grains of powder. At 58.3 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.19 MOA with a mean radius of 0.39 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.17 with an extreme spread of 28.32 and a standard deviation of 13.22. This five shot group is with 58.4 grains of powder. At 58.4 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.32 MOA with a mean radius of 0.38 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.24, an extreme spread of 20.11, and a standard deviation of 8.45. This five shot group is with 58.5 grains of powder.
at 58.5 grains of powder. I've got a group size of 0.69 MOA with a mean radius of 0.34 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.39 with an extreme spread of 22.71 and a standard deviation of 8.27. All right, I'm all done for today. So I'll take the target home, check out the information on the lab radar and see what I've got. Stick around. I've had a chance to go over all the lab radar data and one trend that I'm seeing is with climbing in powder charge, my extreme spread and standard deviation are dropping. And it's been pretty consistent. You know, I started it with the extreme spread of 34, then it went down to 32, 28, 20, and 23. And then my standard deviation was at 13, 7, 13, 13, 2, 8, 4, 8, 3. So I want to, again, keep going up in powder charge to see if that's gonna keep coming down in return or if I finally hit a flat node. That's essentially what I'm looking for. So that'll be in my next video. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below and hit that thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you like my video. Also, hit the subscribe button with that bell icon so that you know when that next video does come out. And until next time, shoot straight and be safe.